and Jason Del Vicario's top picks. First idea here is London listed Games Workshop. Yeah, so Games Workshop is a company we've had our eye on for a number of years, and they've just now sort of gotten to below our fair value estimate. And we've been adding, uh, well, we initiated the position and been adding to our position. They are a tabletop um, miniature games company. They really have no competition. They've been around since 1975. I was recently at their uh, one of their stores in New York that's been at that location for 25 years. And it's it's almost got a bit of a cult community feel to it where they have very, very loyal fans. Checks a lot of our boxes. No debt, high margins, high returns on invested capital, uh, really, really strong competitive advantages. Um, and we added to them most recently on Friday, actually, at 59 pounds. Um, we'll note that a lot of the UK stocks sold off heavily um, uh, last week, and so we were able to increase our position at favorable prices, trading at 14 times earnings with a 4% dividend yield. And as Canadian investors, you actually don't have any withholding tax on UK paid dividends. So wonderful company. It's a medium-sized uh, conviction for us, which means it is 5% weight in our equity portfolio. Great company. Your next idea is Fever Tree Drinks, again London listed. Yes. So again, a company that we've been following for a number of years, they dominate an underpenetrated market, which is something that we really like to lean into these days. They um, uh, sell a premium mixer that is most often mixed with gin. So, um, you know, their tagline is if, if three quarters of a drink is the mixer, um, and especially if you're mixing that with a premium spirit, why not have a fantastic premium mixer? And that's what they offer. They are number one in every single market that they sell into but one, which is Germany. Um, they're very, very strong in UK, and they've now been expanding uh, globally. So you'll be seeing them a lot more uh, on the grocery counters here in Canada and the United States. They're also expanding beyond tonic water. Um, so they're coming up with some really interesting um, new flavors that I think uh, certainly Canadians will enjoy. But from a stock perspective, they are founder-run, founder-owned, no debt, high margin, strong return on invested capital, and they've been growing their free cash flow nicely. They also pay a fairly reasonable dividend at about 2%. You may look at it and say, oh my gosh, they're trading at 25 times earnings. But we think that their earnings will normalize to the point where this is actually around a 15 multiple because they've had a few short-term headwinds, namely shipping and glass prices. So this is a 3% weight for us um, because it is a relatively new company, but they, we think they have a huge runway for growth. And then finally, a Swedish idea, Evolution Gaming, and they provide back-end, I believe, for gambling on the internet. Exactly. And with a little bit of a twist, they are the world dominant uh, player in online live casino. So I'm not a gambler myself, but if you were to go online now, you can have the same type of experience as a land based casino. You can play blackjack with a live dealer and other people who are playing across the planet. Uh, so obviously, this is an incredibly scalable business model. They have some of the highest margins uh, and free cash flow margins that we've seen of any company on the planet. I believe their free cash flow margins is 50%, hmm. which means $1 of revenue winds up, uh, uh, translates into 50 cents of free cash flow for shareholders. They have tremendous uh, opportunity for growth. They've primarily been uh, uh, focused on Europe, um, but now actually in Ontario, as well as a few uh, US states, um, the, the, the online live casino market is opening up. So we see really, really great um, opportunity for them to grow. So they are the dominant player. We always love market leaders. The founders own approximately 10% of the shares. At one point, they were trading at 1,600 um, uh, Swedish kroner, and that translated into a P ratio of 90. During the past number of months, the price has come down from 1,600 to 800, so it is down 50%. But on top of that, their earnings have grown about 40% to the point now where the multiple is in the mid to low 20s. So the multiple, the valuation has gone from 90 to low 20s, during the time uh, the company itself has grown their earnings by 40%. This is a classic value investor's dream because the valuation has come down dramatically. And if anything, the company is stronger than it was when it was trading at a PE of 90. So we originally bought shares a number of years ago at 600 kroners, um, and we had didn't get the size of position we wanted. And so we've now patiently waited for the, the, the share price to drop 50 odd percent. 
and we've been recently adding in the 800 to 900 kroner range. This is a fantastic company and we think that there's plenty of growth ahead of it um, and, and we're really pleased to be uh, part business owners in this wonderful business.